my thought with Ashawn Robinson is, if, for whatever reason in my head, when the logo initially came out, was in March of what, 2020? When yeah. the logo in the box came out? Yep. I think Ashawn Robinson was signed a couple of weeks later. I saw a picture of him from Alabama sitting next to Derrick Henry. I could not believe his size. And I believe he came from the Lions, right? So the Rams have done a really good job over the past five years of identifying some of the top talent across the leagues against some of the worst organizations. And they've been able to swap picks or been able to sign players um, and just get them into the system. And Ashawn Robinson is one of the best examples of that. He works flawlessly with Eric Henderson. Um, so tons of credit to him and the way that he's come about. So yeah. I think he's a nicer, cooler, better version of Nadam Khan Su. Yeah, very, very similar. Very similar vibe. Seeing somebody like Von Miller with the Buffalo Bills, and you look at our outside linebacker class, you look at Leonard Floyd and Justin Hollins and Terrell Lewis and Daniel Hardy, Keir Thomas. Does it feel like it's missing somebody like Von Miller? Not yet. I think Bobby Wagner helps. But right now, if I look at the depth chart, it doesn't feel like we're missing a huge defensive piece. I mean, Von Miller was a huge part as to why we won the Super Bowl, obviously. But this also looks like a Super Bowl defense. Yeah. I mean, what you I mean? You signed Von Miller back. Like Von Miller would have eaten up a ton of your cap for this year. And who's to say Von Miller can work through another 2021 20, game season? You have some some young depth there. You have Leonard Floyd. Obviously, he's been great since they signed him. Everybody was against that signing because he came from Chicago, bad team, and the Rams turned him into a Pro Bowl caliber player. Justin Hollins on the other side, who was in rotation with Von Miller last year, was essentially playing his role, was just playing behind him. So Terrell Lewis and Daniel Hardy, like they're going to be just speed rushes off the end where Leonard Floyd and Justin Hollins are a little bit more technical, a little bit more sound. Um, so I think if you're in the right situations, you'll see these players rotate on the field, somebody like Hardy or Terrell Lewis, either to, to make a big play, to try and get somebody in the backfield, or just to mix something up and just to get a speed rush versus something that hasn't been working as well. So I'm confident in that group. I am. I just don't, I don't know if there's something missing yet and we won't know until the season starts.